What you guys got an all-in-one tool here to repair PC problems. Now, if you're looking for a USB flash drive with all your tools in one drive, then this tool called Medicat USB version 20.09 is a pretty useful tool. It's got loads of tools in here that will help you fix common PC problems. Whether you want to back up data, recover data, or fix Windows issues, then you can do this with the Medicat uh, USB tool. Now, it is quite a large uh, image that you need to download if you're going to be downloading this. It's about 24 gigabytes, in fact. They offer a few places to download this, Google Drive, Mega, and also uh, Torrent. It is quite a large file to download, and I did find that some of those links didn't work, um, uh, but the Torrent one did work. We've got both BIOS and UEFI boot-in support here. Also, drag-and-drop support for ISOs, EFI and WIM and also image files and you've got a bunch of other stuff included on this here it does have a mini Windows 10 on here as well and includes a bunch of portable apps on this uh, image as well so that's 24 gigabytes in size pretty big so let's take a look at how we can create this we're going to be downloading the Passmark bootable USB drive to make our bootable USB drive because this is an image file and I'll show you how to do that. So download the file and then click on this one here. This will allow you to basically open up the Passmark image USB. And now we should see something like this. So you're going to need a fairly big uh, USB flash drive. I would say at least 32 gigabytes in size. So we're going to put the tick in here to select our USB flash drive. Make sure you select the right one. And it does it in sequence here. You can see step one, step two, and step three. So let's take a look at step two here. So right image to USB drive. That's exactly what we want to do here. Go over to the right-hand side here, available options, and you can see here image verification. That's going to verify the image has been created properly. And then we're going to choose uh, the image here. So just browse for the image on your PC from where you downloaded it. There we go. So I'm going to select that and basically put that in there. All we need to do now is click on right, and this will then uh, basically copy that image across to the USB flash drive and make that bootable for us. So you can see here, it gives you a little uh, message box popping up here for confirmation, and you can either say yes or no here. I'm gonna say yes, of course, because I want to write this image to the USB flash drive, and it will say final warning. It's gonna warn you that all the data will be wiped on that USB flash drive. Now it's going to take a fair bit of time to copy that image across because of the size of the image. It is 24 gigabytes in size, so it will take a fair bit of time to write that image onto the USB flash drive. So be patient and let it do its thing. You're probably best to go and make yourself a cup of tea or something while that's uh, doing its thing. You should see an overall progress bar at the bottom, and you can see how slow that is going across. So I'd say you definitely want to get yourself a fast USB flash drive here because obviously that will speed the process up with the more write speeds available on that USB flash drive will make it a bit quicker uh, to write that image to the drive. So once we've got this created, we can then boot up to that USB flash drive and uh, basically use some of these tools to fix common PC problems uh, that you may have malware on the computer, you may want to run scans, with malware on that computer you can do that with this tool also you may have boot up issues which you can use this tool to fix those as well you can back up data uh, on there as well if you've got data you want to back up you may have issues with drives and you want to scan the drive and things like that you can do that with this tool as well data recovery there's all sorts of things you can do so image has now been completed so we're going to click uh, OK here and close this off and we finished with this so we can exit out here and what we'll do now is we will boot up to this you can see the drive here this is all of the uh, stuff we got on here uh, antivirus backup backup and restore boot repair diagnostic tools uh, partition tools password removal tools programs and bunches of other stuff on here as well you can see ventoy is on there because it's using ventoy as the way they've constructed this as well which is pretty useful and also you've got some portable applications in here which you can use as well 
Okay, so let's boot up to it and take a look at what we've got here. So you can see here, we do have a nice menu system here with a bunch of different options available to us. We've got antivirus here. We've also got backup and restore. This is going to allow you to backup and restore uh, data on your PC. We've got boot repair. We also got boot and operating system. And we also have diagnostic tools, partition tools, password removal, and Windows recovery options available. And you can see here, they're all ready to go. We've got Windows 10 recovery WIM right there. Now you can also uh, open this up. Let me just quickly run the program here so you can see how this works. I'll open up a mem test here and run this so you can see basically how this works. And this will load up mem test and you can run a scan on mem test and basically test your memory. So this is how you can quickly diagnose whether your memory has got issues with it or problems with it. And all you need to do here is go to the configure. It'll allow you to completely configure the whatever you want to do here. But we're just going to click on a start test and just run a test and you'll see it running a test here. So it would run a test, but you can configure this to run a proper test of your choice. I'm just showing you basically how that works. And this will let you uh, test your memory to see whether there's any problems with your memory or if any memory sticks have gone bad. It will give you the errors that show up here. Now, there's loads of other stuff on this image. It's quite a large file, 24 gigabytes. So it's quite a big file to download. So some people might find that too big. And again, you can download a lot of this stuff yourself and create your own Ventoy uh, image if you wish by uh, following some of my previous videos on how to do that. Very simple and easy to do. And that's going to be about it for this video. Big special thanks to all the YouTube members who joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate you guys joining. So thanks very much for the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.